Hey guys, today I will be showing you the re, re, a review of every item I have for the Steam Deck OLED. Also, I've made this video before for the original deck, so it's going to be highly similar because it's some of the stuff that I still recommend. So the first thing I want to say is that the Steam Deck OLED is great. I personally like it because of the battery life. Other people would like it because of the battery life in the screen or just the screen but it's also a little light as well you would definitely notice it once you get your hands on it um, so let's begin from that the first thing I want to say is that that I have for the Steam Deck is as you can see the JSOX case this is a great case because some you you have your Steam Deck case that you have to zip and unzip it or bring it uh, velcro it apart for the small one so if you don't want to do that and you just want a quick play whatever and just not have a case and flip it over and unzip it get the JSOX is very good look how it's snug in there so also it has this little stand like that like just like the switch and it has the cover right here so you just pop it up on top and then you bring it down and you snap it's a little hard to pull up but you know it's, it's protecting the case your, your deck I'm sorry and um, that's it so you probably just take your nail and just pop it up or your finger if you could grip under it right there and it's not a problem it wasn't a problem for me at first it was and then then it became just like easy I just started un um, just undoing it really fast so the next thing is a protective case for the stain deck I re recommend this I did this in my last video I recommend this um, so I'm just gonna go tell you they have like pretty much to cover your deck they have the back buttons uh, cover they have the um, the touch badge covers they have the 3.5 millimeter jack cover they have the charger cover I don't know why would you want to put the cover on the charger cover because you need to charge it and then they have um, the vent covers in the front and the back so that pretty much covers the, anything that's trying to get inside this thing deck like a little creature or something like that so that's cool so as you can see like that is the vent in the, up on top and then you see the mesh and vents in the back and uh, as you can see the touch pads they only have these in black so far that I saw it could, it could change you know probably past this video it could change but I had to order a different color um, I'll put the I'll put everything in the link description that I got off, um, on Amazon or the store that I purchased everything from so you have the touch pads and they got different colors red blue whatever from different uh, sites so uh, the next thing uh, I want to go to I'll go to the battery next so this is the battery that I have I got the anchor battery this big bulky thing yes the the JSOX does come with a battery holder but it can't hold this big old brick so yeah this is pretty cool um, this will have your 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 deck at least about six to eight hours on a full charge because this already has, depending on the game you're playing, it already has great battery life. So that would just up it to about six hours. I've used it. Man, it's like I was playing forever. So I wanted to edit this in a video. Yes, the um, JSOX case works with the Kiwi Home dock. Um, all I had to do was just, just flush it in and make sure like this is up. But if you don't have the case with this, so it will be fine. But if you have this, just push it up or whatever and it works fine. Look. There you go. I don't even know why I didn't do that in the first time, but <laughs> go back to the video. Um, the next thing is, of course, it's the dock. I did this dock before. I'm going to have both docks that I've used for the Steam Deck in the link description. So this is a great dock right here. It has a uh, the power to go on and off. So it will have the Steam Deck to be disconnected or your external hard drive to be disconnected from this button right here. So it's pretty cool. Um, the next thing will be that I have, or you you already saw when I turned it around, was the back touch buttons for grip. Not only for grip, it's have like for how you say for it's just in case you got bigger hands. Oh man, these buttons is a world of difference. The button um covers are a world of difference because they got two type of uh how you say height to them. So they have the big suck, they have the big size and the small size. So I'm using a small size right now. And uh, yeah, so it's a little difficult to put this on because it's double-sided tape. Yeah, they tell you right here. Let me see. Yeah, so they tell you right here. You get two tries. You get two of these bad boys. You see it says L, R5, whatever like that. So they show you. So make sure you test out on the back. Put the sticker on. Test out one of these. Then peel the sticker and then put it up there. So you don't want to mess up with that. 
so yeah that's basically what um that's basically what I have for my Steam Deck uh, so please check everything out in the links description I hope something will help your gameplay better because everything is better with this thumbstick your hands don't slip off yes you can't use your gyroscope when you touch it to, um, I think when you put both of your fingers on there touch it and you can move for the gyroscope you can't but uh, that sucks if that's if you're a gyro, a gyro control player which I am not I'm regular traditional thumbsticks so yeah uh, everything will be in the link in the description I hope it find you well